Hello, beautiful souls. This is Elaine Fouché. One of the things that people really don't realize is that you are not in control of your attention. What do I mean by that? Well, one of the things that we start understanding whenever we start practicing mindfulness is that we have zero control over what we're paying attention to. So let me give you an example of that. Um, have you ever been sitting and talking to someone and you're talking and you're interested in what they're saying and then something they say reminds you of, I don't know, an email. And so you, they're still talking, but you're like, email, oh, did I send that email or not? Ooh, uh, hmm, oh, no I didn't, oh, okay. Okay, tomorrow morning I need to make sure, okay, mental note, send that email, right? Okay, and then you come back, finish that thought, you're back with your friend. And they're still talking. <laughs> If you're like me, you hope they keep talking so that you can work out what the heck you just missed. This is not the most comfortable situation. And it's because you are not able to focus your attention and keep your attention on someone. Now, every time I've ever told this story and I've given this example in front of hundreds of people, not a single person has never had this experience. Every single person I've ever told this to has had this experience. Why? Because none of us can control our, our attention. We're like, zhoo, zhoo, zhoo. and of course, one of the first things that comes up and one of the first things I ever thought when I heard this was like, well, of course I can control my attention. I can watch a movie for a whole two hours and not go anywhere. Well, yeah, my friends, <laughs> Movie, TV, Facebook, all that kind of stuff is designed to keep your attention. In fact, they know how short your attention span is, so they are constantly doing things every five seconds, every three seconds, every seven seconds, blah, 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 to get your attention back. A new shot, a new angle, a new person, more music, more blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's constant. That's why it's so annoying to watch that stuff if you actually can focus, because they're constantly going crazy. <laughs> okay, so... Yes, you can focus on things for hours if they're designed to constantly be grabbing your attention. It's like you're being kicked or pushed all the time. Hey, pay attention. Hey, 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 hey. Well, yeah, okay. Of course you can pay attention to that. And you can, of course, make the decision to pay attention to it, which is also a kind of control over your attention. What I mean, though, is you can't control your attention over time, right? And I'm gonna give you a challenge. I didn't believe this when I first started. I was like, yeah, whatever, I'm in control of my mind. What are you talking about? <laughs> so here's your challenge. Try to focus on your breath and only on your breath, nothing else, for three minutes. Yeah, you can stop the video right now and try it. And I guarantee you, you will not be able to do it. In fact, if I said, I'm gonna give you a billion dollars or you're going to meet the person of your dreams or whatever the biggest cool thing I could promise you. If you can just focus for three minutes, you still wouldn't be able to do it. I mean, it's crazy. That's crazy, right? How come you can't focus your own attention? Okay. Without going into all the where's and the wherefores and the why's, trust me, you can't or test it out for yourself and make sure that I'm not crazy. Um, and that this is true for you. And then know that one of the beautiful things that mindfulness does, in fact, the first thing we're doing with mindfulness is regaining that capacity to pay attention. Basically, you have trained yourself for so long to not be able, not be in control, to not be able to focus on just one thing, that you have to relearn that. You have to rebuild those neurons, rebuild that capacity. It's kind of like having a muscle, right? And your your attention muscle is atrophied, my friend. So it takes a, it takes some time. Yeah, it's not instant. And this is one of the first things that we do in mindfulness is learn how to control our attention. Control is a little bit of a funny word, but at least we learn how to direct our attention on purpose. So sorry to be the bearer of bad news. You actually have zero or almost zero control over your attention over any length of time. And the good news is, if you want it, you can get it back. <laughs> Hope that helps. Take care and I'll see you next time.